Hi, Snowflakes. My name is Mika Snow, and welcome to another party. I want to talk about something that has been a hot topic within the Second Life community for a while now, and that is, how do you play Second Life on mobile? And as a person who used to be an avid Second Life mobile user, I just wanted to take a little bit of time and talk about a few things and hopefully clarify something for you all who really want to get into getting on Second Life on your phone. And I have to be brutally honest, the experience that you are anticipating to have with Second Life Mobile is definitely not one that is going to be available to you. There used to be an app, um, and I want to say it was called Lumia. And Lumia would allow you to get into Second Life, you'd be able to chat, and you would also be able to see the world rendered. But the issue with um, Lumia was that it was a little bit buggy. Now, I am no longer an Android user. I have since switched to iOS, but I did use it on my Android phone. And with Lumia, you actually had to pay. <laughs> pay to use it the app was not free and it also came with two different plugins there was the voice plugin that would allow you to speak to people and then there was also the cloud plugin that would back up your chat now i would say that this app was probably a little bit ahead of its time and i'm pretty sure it was difficult to code and make and and when I, I want to say it came out maybe like 2011, 2012. I don't know what happened to it since. I'm checking the Android App Store and I don't see it <laughs> whatsoever. So when it comes to applications that allow you to see in Second Life on your phone, I'm really sorry to break it to you, but they're just currently not available. Please correct me if I'm wrong about Lumia or Lumaya, however you say it. But it is a thing of the past. It did support Bento for a little bit when it was out, but it's it's currently gone. Um, I'm wondering if I got like on my tablet to double check and see if you could still purchase it. But to my knowledge, it's, it's not there. If it is there, I'm sorry. <laughs> but um, it, it, it was an app, at least like when I was using it for a while, that had its challenges for sure especially with the voice plugin. The voice plugin was super buggy. Oh my gosh. Now for both Android users and iPhone users, this leaves you with the option to chat. There are a handful of text-based viewers that you can use on your phone. And honestly, I'm not gonna lie to you, they all have different challenges. And for a Second Life, um, third party viewer, mm, they're not free. <laughs> um, there is the mobile grid client, which is open to Android users and you have to pay Linden. Your first couple of days are free, but after that you have to pay <laughs> 250 Linden. And then I believe they also have a pro version, which is maybe like 400 or 500 Linden, something like that. And you know, if, if you're used to like using a free Second Life viewer or a free third party viewer, it's kind of a bummer. And I feel like the the apps are currently great for people who might just, you know, own a store, do customer service, host, things of that nature where it's like, well, right now I have to go visit family, but I, I have to go and do the CSR shift. If Second Life is that urgent for you where you just have to be in there chatting with people then this definitely would be for you but if you just like want to keep up with your friends and just chit chat with everybody i i'm gonna beat the dead horse <laughs> until you guys tell me okay mika we have it set up but second life facebook is a thing second life instagram is a thing second life uh twitter i don't know if second life twitter is a thing i wish it was i feel like i'm the only person <laughs> that i'm aware of that is like a second life user that's on twitter openly i don't really follow anybody that does second life and twitter openly um and it kind of feels weird because like when I tweet about SL stuff, I feel like no one 
understands me and I just feel like the one oddball but I am an oddball and I am bracelet so whatever if y'all got something to say about it if y'all got a problem with me tweeting about second life pull the fuck up or leave me alone anyways whew, sorry for getting a little rowdy there there are also a couple of other ones that are open to Android users there's little site and I have little to say about little sites um little site is a little bit buggy it's a one-time pay kind of thing but look at the reviews for yourself and that's that's pretty much all I gotta say about that there's also speed light speed light is something that's a little bit newer and I believe Speedlight is also a web-based viewer for Second Life. So maybe you want to be the type of person that has Second Life pulled up at work. And you have like your little play laptop that sits on your desk. And you know, you just want to pull up and see what people are talking about throughout the day. Um, but as far as the mobile app goes, you can chat to your friends. You can talk in local chat. You can teleport. And I believe it allows you to see like your transaction history, your London history, but you can also see that on secondlife.com on your phone. <laughs> um, and I believe that they are intending this to be a replacement for Lumia, which like I, I, like I said, I believe it's completely gone. Don't quote me though, but I believe that they are trying to work and develop it into being a replacement for Lumia. So if you are an iOS user like myself, there is MetaChat. I don't have it because like I said, I'm pretty much good with mobile apps, especially if I have to pay for them. But there is MetaChat and again, it is a text-based viewer and it's actually $2.99 on the App Store. So if you are looking for something that is going to allow you to see Second Life, how IMVU has their, it's just not a thing right now. And that's just something that you have to accept. I do have some tea on an official Second Life app and potentially what this could mean for Second Life users and third party developers. So if you are on the Second Life forums, <laughs> there was a thread created in the technology section. And this, you know, new thread was about mobile. And at first I thought, okay, y'all just crying wolf because y'all know daggone well. Second Life is not making a mobile app. Please leave the dead horse alone. However, things were changed when Kiera Linden actually responded to it. Now I will put this thread in the description box. I will try to pin it as well. But from this thread, it has been confirmed that Second Life is developing an official mobile app and that this app will first be for iOS and then Android. Now in this thread, you can read directly from Kiara that there are some different features that they have been prioritizing. Marketplace has been up in the air. I feel personally that Marketplace is just like a garnish on a complete dish because why put Marketplace in there when you can just go to your web browser on your phone? pull up marketplace I mean let me try it right now on my phone I feel like it works smoothly <laughs> and well here we go hot off the press of Mika Snow's life you can definitely pull second life marketplace up on your phone and it works so it looks like they're prioritizing these social aspects so you know chatting group I don't know if voice is going to be a part of that but I feel like voice would be imperative to integrate into the mobile application because if you're on your phone, a uh, small keyboard, <laughs> so voice would be super important to users as well as teleporting. Maybe you do customer service, so you need to go into the store and just make sure that people are greeted, et cetera, et cetera. So I, I do hope that they allow people to teleport to different sims as well as use voice. This app is most likely going to be launched in 2021. Now she does touch on, you know, once they're done developing the app for both Android and iOS, that they would be looking to add more aspects and features to the application. So it may not be right away, but I would say maybe in the next two, three years, we would have an official Second Life app that does allow us to see the world sorry i'm looking at my dog she's like bothering me 
Girl, what's she trying to pull up for? Anyway, <laughs> now keep in mind that they are developing for iOS before they develop for Android. And that's because they are stating that most of their users do use iOS. Now, I do want to touch on what this means for the community and third party users. Once Second Life creates the blueprint for mobile apps, I think that this could open up a lot for, you know, the team at Firestorm, uh, Black Dragon, Alchemy, Catsnips, and they could definitely take the code, I don't know, whatever, bloop, 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 that they put into like the computer to code everything, but they could take that, flip it down and reverse it and create different third party viewer apps. And I'm hoping that this app is free and that residents don't have to pay for it or don't have to pay Lindens for it. Because I feel like if we can access it on our computer for free, and we're already <laughs> we're already paying a lot to Tila and all them other people when we buy Lindens, I feel like the users should be able to get this application for free when it is released. But you guys let me know what you think down below. I'm super excited. And again, if you are looking forward to doing Second Life on your phone and you want to do it right now, there are those apps on the application store for Android. Um, you have a couple and then for iOS, you just have the one. You can check those out. Please don't say that I sent you. I'm letting you know now. Read the reviews. Read every single review. I used to use them on Android myself, so I already know how finicky they are. I haven't used the one on iOS. I'm not really interested in using it. But just don't expect to be able to see SL and think of it like the, um, what is she called? The IMVU app because it's just not there yet. However, if you can be patient, wait maybe like six months to a year and Second Life will be developing their own app. So I hope you guys can hold out. Let me know what you think down below about mobile apps. Do you use them? Do you love them? Do you hate them? Do you not like the fact that you have to pay for them? I'm curious. So if you enjoyed this video, be sure to subscribe. Because if you like this video, I'm going to keep it real with you. You might like my other videos. So subscribe to see what else I have in store. Also, be sure to like and comment. Share with your friends. I appreciate you for coming to hang out with me. Remember to go out into this world with love and light. And I will see you on the next video. Bye, guys.